and welcome back to my channel so excited to bring you guys this new video if you're new here hello welcome excited to have you here if you're you are returning um happy to have you back so for today's video what i'm just going to be doing is taking you guys along as i attempt to alter a pair of jeans that i bought if you watched my um what's new in my closet series uh you will know that i purchased a pair of jeans that were just a little big for me and that i had planned on altering so they fit the way i like them so that's what we're going to do today or over the course of a couple days because i know it's not going to take it's going to take a couple days <laughs> Yeah, we're going to do that. I'm going to do what feels like the obligatory uh, like, comment, and subscribe. And let's get right into the video. Okay, so this is what the jeans look like on before I start any of the alterations. Um, they're quite big. They fit the waist very massively. So right now I'm just pulling them up to kind of decide where I want them to sit. And once that's done, I'm going to move on to measuring out how much uh, needs to be taken in. So here we are, my little white desk. I'm just going to take you guys through what I will be using to uh, hopefully make this alteration go smoothly. So first and foremost, what I've got is a pair of jeans. What I'll be using is this little um, chalky thingy. I use it to make marks on the pair of jeans as I go through it. Next thing I'll be using is, oops, I dropped it. Next, I will, what I'll be using is my trusty seam ripper. Yep, that's what I'll be using next. And then after that, I have this. Um, I forget what it's called. That's to cut the, the threads like excess threads. You can use it to cut the seams too, but I prefer using the seam ripper to like get close to the fabric and then using this to cut off all the extra fabric. It's nice and it just goes snip, snip. Need um, tape measure and or uh, this ruler. I forget the name of this ruler too. I can find it. I bought it on Amazon. So you can move it to how many like inches you need to go and then you put that against the garment and it gives you a bit more of an accurate measure. And after that, what else will I need? Got my trusty little pin holder. It's a cute little tomato with a lot of excess thread on it. Don't pay attention to that, mind your business. And then got this, that's a French curve, I think. I don't know what I'm doing. I just saw this on the internet and then I was like, huh, ah, that might be helpful. And so I have it. I think it's called a French curve and you use it to trace curves. <laughs> Next, I've got some thread, handy dandy thread. So that's um, the thread, the bobbin that goes on the, no, that's not the bobbin. So that goes on the top of the machine, that goes on the inside of the machine. And then what else will I need? I got a trusty bevy if you guys are under the legal drinking age um it's just orange juice i promise last but not least i've got a sewing machine when i went to buy it the person who sold it to me um said it was good for beginners and that's what i am totally am a beginner it's a little dusty so yeah that's everything i will be using today to get started on this project so if you're someone who enjoys watching others struggle uh, this video is totally for you because this is exactly what this is going to be um a video of, of complete and utter struggling so where i'm going to start is by taking off this little patch here not that i think that i'm going to need to oh i might and I, oh i'm going to link there's a specific video that i watched that i um 
that I use every time I need to alter a pair of pants. So I'm going to link that in the description box. Oh, words. So I'm going to link that in the description box. Overall, it's a good video to have. So yeah, so that's the middle of the pants. That's going to come out eventually. But I'm going to start here and take that off. I don't think I'm going to put it back on. I don't care to have it on. I'm not a big fan of branding overall. So yeah, let's work on taking this off. I mean, I don't mind branding. It's pretty small. You would have to get kind of pretty close to see what the brand is. But I just, I like to have, when I wear my clothes, I kind of just like to have what I have on speak for, for what it is. I try my best to style my clothing so the clothing could speak and not the branding on the clothing. So yeah, that's my little mini philosophy about branding. Any other pair of jeans that I've altered, I think, unless it's like a pair of Levi's or like Nautica, what a Lee jeans, that's the, since I thrift so much, that's a lot of the brand of jeans that I have. So unless it's like one of those ones where like um, the tag doesn't look super ugly on the jeans or it kind of adds to the flair of the jeans, I, I definitely generally tend to take it off. I need to learn not to pull too hard on the fabric though. I know it's a pair of jeans, it's woven, it's 100% cotton, so it's less likely to tear. But I have certain, I've had certain articles of clothing where I did end up making a hole in the in the article of clothing because I was very impatient and just pulled on it. You see? Look at that. If I pull any harder, I'm sure I can make a hole in there. But I'm not going to because I don't want a hole in there. Because then I would have to patch them up and that's the whole thing. So that's fun though. I just recently made a pair of patched jeans. I didn't sew it. I want to try making a pair of patched jeans that's sewn. I think that'd be something really cool to do. Um, let me know if that's something you guys are interested in. I have many, many, many jeans with holes in them from a very dark, dark, dark time that we all know of in trends and fashion. So that's the tag, it's off. So this is an instance where I would take my snip snip. Well, these kind of just pull out. <laughs> <laughs> Gotta get my head out of the gutter. You can just pull these out quite easy. And then make sure it's nothing on the other side. Because I've had it happen more often than um, once that these little additional fabrics that if you don't cut them off excuse me they'll get stuck while you're sewing and jam in the sewing machine which is not fun because i literally don't know what i'm doing so i would much prefer my sewing machine not jam so i'm gonna move on to uh, taking off this belt loop just this one and um um opening up the seam of, at the waistband. I'm really curious to know what the construction of these jeans are because they are a cheaper pair of jeans. See, this is why I kind of prefer to use the seam ripper because it allows me to get super close to the, the fabric. The thread I have is not the same color as this one. It's denim thread, so it's the right thickness, but it's not the same color. I don't know if you guys can see the little color comparison. I don't particularly care for it, but um, it's I didn't I mean no, I didn't realize that denim overall just had different color threads. So yeah. If you guys do intend to do this just be mindful of that maybe bring the article of clothing you're looking to alter with you when you go and buy thread 
um i'm not i i kind of i have to buy i go and buy thread as i need it i don't have a, like a whole case and everything just because it's so expensive and i don't want to own thread for colors that i'm probably never going to use so yeah obviously have black and white and then denim because i wear so much denim but anything outside of that i buy it as i need it but also one of the reasons why i i i know i should be more careful or um more patient when it comes to removing the belt loop is because um having it sewn in place with a little butt of fabric underneath once i finally <laughs> fully get it off i'll show you there we go it kind of keeps the shape of the um, of the belt loop so when it comes time to sewing it back on i'm not stuck trying to center this little small piece of fabric and then sewing it back into place so that's something i try to be mindful of even though it didn't look like it just now so this is the time where it'd be nice to kind of take these snippers cut off the excess here boom onto the top <laughs> when lockdown happened i like committed to originally so what over a year ago i committed to like at least learning how to take in the waist and um make my the legs of my pants straighter so i have jeans and i can see the progression of me learning how to take in the waist of my pants uh, i'm definitely better but it's still not good it's still not good but again Learning happens progressively, so I'm glad that I'm aware of what mistakes I make and what I can do to make sure they don't happen again. I have a bad habit of timing myself doing stuff. In the sense that like, it depends on what I'm doing, but just like when it comes to this, it's just like, oh, I feel like it should only take an hour and so I'll time myself but that's not fair because I should allow myself and give myself the time to have it take as long as it needs to especially while I'm learning come on gotcha cool so that's all removed that's the belt loop that's the only one I'm taking off in order to not lose it because that'd be annoying I put it in the, um, the watch pocket leave it in there okay <laughs> so now that the belt loops off it's coming it's come time to open up the waistband i'm going to start from the bottom waistband i'm going to start from the bottom waistband about the middle and i kind of just go as far as my heart feels how many inches is that do you think i don't know let's bring out my trusty ruler oh. that was like three inches i feel comfortable with three inches it's all gonna get closed back up anyway it just makes life easier if i don't open too much but you also want to open enough but i don't know how much enough is so more rather than not enough I think that's the three inch mark. Let me just make sure. Yep, almost right on the nose. So I'm just gonna stop there. Um, should I cut it? I'm gonna cut it, but not too high. I'm gonna cut it here, or not too low. Oops, my hand's in the way. So, cut it about right here. I remember I like to ask people what they think I listen to and it's just a, out of sheer curiosity but I asked someone a question once and they said 
I thought I listened to acoustic music. Um, no shade to acoustic music. You know, I like my one to acoustic track. Not a problem. So I asked them. Why did they feel I listen to acoustic music? And they went, I don't know. It's because you're wearing cowboy boots. And I was like, out of all of the music genres, you could have you could have you could have just blurred it out. Freaking acoustic music. Not even country. Anyway, I found that to be interesting. A little perplexing, but interesting. I don't mind it fitting a little loose. Because, um, it's not like, yeah, it doesn't, I don't like it to look like it fits perfectly. I just like it to look like it fits, like it's supposed to be on my body. <laughs> As close to perfect as possible. Because perfection is not real. Yeah. Very curious to know to the people who get this far in the video. <laughs> I'd be checking my analytics. Whoever watches my stuff doesn't finish my stuff. It's upsetting me in my home, girl. But if you guys get this far, I'm very curious to know how you've been enjoying stuff, what you'd like to see. Because I would love, love, love to try and bring you guys stuff that you guys want to see yourselves. Obviously, the stuff I want to bring you guys. But, you know, give the people what they want. So I'm reaching the end of where I kind of opened it up at the bottom. That's where it is. I know I mentioned earlier. Curious to know um, what you guys think I listen to. But also, I'm curious to know what you guys listen to. Or stuff like that. What you like to do in your free time. I'm, I usually, I jokingly tell people that all I do is sleep. <laughs> I am a, very tired as a person. <laughs> Growing up, my dad used to say, I sleep like a whale and I didn't understand what that meant but I, if I don't get a nap I'm probably one of the grumpiest adults you've ever met so yeah but this is what I do in my free time learn to alter clothing I'm curious to know what you guys do in your free time too I also knit a little bit but not nothing special my skills haven't evolved and I've known how to knit since I was like 10. I can still only knit a scarf or a blanket, depending on how many stitches I start on. So if you're in need of a scarf and nothing too fancy though, nothing too fancy. I can't add, add I mean, I can learn. I've definitely tapped into how to learn. I've just never done it, but I'm not confident in those skills, but if you ever need a scarf, just let me know. Happy to make you one with my um, mismatched needles. One's a four and one's a four and a half. Literally the needles I've been using since I learned how to knit. Um, but I lost two on my way there. <laughs> on my way here. Okay, here I am. This is what it looks like when it's open. Not even on both sides, which is really bothering me. I want to open it more, just in case. Better we're safe than sorry. Let's see what that looks like. But it's open now. Looks feels a bit more even. I don't know if it actually is, but it doesn't matter. So now on to the next. So I just read this tweet that said, um, sorry I didn't reply, the moon is in Capricorn. 
which I thought was hilarious because the only two Capricorns that I know quite literally never reply to tweets. I mean, text. So yeah, it makes total sense. Complete sense. Um, yeah, so I turned the jeans inside out uh, during my mini break that allowed me to read that funny tweet. If you're into astrology, guess my sign. What do you think my sign is? Curious to know. Okay, so we're getting in more into the way um, these genes are structured. And I'm going to say this right now, right here, right now. This is the first time I've ever seen this. I ain't never ever see you act like this before. I don't remember what this stitching is called. That's not top locking. I'm not going to try and pretend like I know what the stitching is called. I should. I went to school for fashion, not design, because I, I would know what I'm doing, but I went to school for fashion. So I've never seen this before. Usually when I open it up, it's the raw hem and I've never seen this stitch underneath either. So I now have to open that up, which I'm not excited about because... <laughs> I don't intend to sew this back up because I've never had to do this before when I've altered jeans. So I'm going to open it for the sake of opening this up. I'm only going to be taking in about two inches. So I'm going to open it as far as two inches is. And then when it comes time to adding, closing this back up, this is going to cover it anyway. So I don't particularly care to have that sewn back up. If it unraveled, it's unraveling in a area of the clothing that's all sewn up. So beat that. Okay, I'm gonna do this top stitch. Oh, that's the name of the stitch. It's called a top stitch, I think. Please do not quote me on that. Okay. So that's all opened up now. Not all, but we're gonna move on to the next part, which is um opening this up here. Um, this part I struggle with a lot. Oh okay. So I made sure to rewatch the video that I watch every single time until I, I learn what the heck I'm doing. And just because this is another integral structural part to the the jeans the woman in the video says to pin it as you open it so i'm gonna open watch it but i forgot what the heck i'm doing i'm gonna um fast forward through this little process i'm going to i'm gonna come down a little bit I'm going to the top of the pocket, which I know is right here because of the stitch. So actually maybe not the top of the pocket. Sewing over this is hard. So maybe just a little lower. Let's bring up my trusty ruler. Maybe an inch under the till about here. I think that's pretty safe. I'm gonna actually just remove this here so I know how far to go down. So this is what it looks like now that the seams have been opened. You can see what that looks like on the inside. And that's it on the outside. I guess this way. Um, I'm going to try and get closer here. I don't know if you guys can see that. But you see how it's like folded over twice. Basically once that opens. It's just so much harder to... Um, kind of all finish the alteration of the clothing. This just keeps the structure of the jeans because it, as you can tell, there's like a lot of extra fabric to deal with as that comes apart. And that's why in the video, they kind of mentioned stressing, kind of pin it closed before continuing with the alteration. Um, I'm gonna table this for now, continue at a later date because my phone battery is dying and it's late and 
I didn't get to nap today, so I'm grumpy. <laughs> and we'll continue on at a later date. It shouldn't. I don't have much more to do. Quite frankly. Three days later. And we're back to finish off what I started. Um, it's been like a couple of days since I've even looked at these pair of jeans. So, yeah, I'm excited to be back. <laughs> Rise and grind. <laughs> um, yeah, that wasn't funny. Anyway, so what I have left to do now is uh, I've got to now kind of work on taking in whatever I need to take in. So what I'm going to do to start off is fold the jeans in half. Fold these bad boys in half. Bam. That's what we get. I want to have it lay as flat as possible. Just for the sake of um what's the word i'm looking for precision for sake of precision i measured and i need to take off two inches so that's like two inches basically laying flat because i measured it on only one side when i did measure it so i just took my little ruler here and i slid the thing to um little marker to two inches so i have a point of reference and then i'm going to put that on the edge here at the top that's it and I'm gonna... there we go you might not be able to see properly because my hands might cover everything Let's measure this mark it and then... <clears throat> I try to... I don't like to go too far down to mark it extra only because it does need to curve at some point but that's this like that's like an inch it sh shouldn't be too big of an issue <clears throat> excuse me forgot my ruler okay here i am and then crap <laughs> and then she takes you can't really see what i marked it's fine it's not a tutorial um and then takes the french curve just to round out this part here so then that's the line I have oops this is really bad <laughs> um, um do I want to try no I don't to be completely honest I don't want to try fixing that. okay so I repinned it and made sure it was aligned and we can see that here now. It almost perfectly aligns side to side here, which is ideal. I don't particularly care because no one's watching my jeans that hard, but it doesn't hurt to try and get it as close to, as possible when working on it. I'm gonna cut these all off. Oops, that's what I dropped. Jeez, Louise, I'm gonna come back. Okay, I got it through looks better and so now you need to turn the wheel to make sure that it pulls the thread almost done oh it's already pulled through I'm silly I don't need to do that <laughs> I don't need to do that let's get my pair of jeans Okay, here we are. Always nervous to sew because I don't know. I don't have a steady hand. Okay, I'm going to put this in here. Okay, so that's what it looks like here. I'm just going to sit here and tell you right now that's not what it's supposed to look like. <laughs> so I'm going to have to turn them back inside out and redo it because I don't know how I picked up all this extra fabric when I'm sewing. Yeah. Fun. 
Woo! Okay, I'm back for try number two. Um, I don't want to tell you how long it took me to <laughs> take out all of that. I think I figured out what happened with the garment. See what had happened at first was I didn't take the time to align the pockets. So then it was uneven and as I was sewing, one of the pockets shifted over and then I ended up sewing over it. So I added a pin right in here. That's to keep the pockets intact. This is to keep these seams intact. And then I'm going to now try again to sew down. I'm still dealing with a little bit of bunching. I don't know how to like maneuver my way around that, but let me try sewing over so I can see what it looks like and to see if I even need to fix it. So I turned them inside out and that's what it's looking like. Pretty solid. Um, again, I struggle with the sewing a little bit. The pockets are a little, a little uneven, like in terms of this, but it's not that serious. I'm not like fretting over it at all whatsoever. And then just this here, I know this happens when the, um, the seam I make on the inside doesn't quite match the one, the natural one that comes with the jeans. Um, I'm still, that's still something I'm learning how to do as well. So it's going to come with over time and I'm not too upset about the way it looks because I've definitely had jeans look worse. So I'll take this as a win and it kind of starts to look better once I iron it out. So let's move on to the next step, which would be um, kind of matching these seams on the outside just to help give it that natural look back. Before I get into the next step really quickly, um, since I have my, like I, I took in how much I need to take in and I'm comfortable with what it looks like, I am safe to take out these pins that help held the original shape in. I'm going to take these out really quick and then get into the next step. I forgot to record the majority of the process, so I'm not going to go and do it again because it's tedious. Okay, I'm at the last part where I have to like turn it so I can get this to come out on top so it's both on this surface. This one, this thread is already on the top. That's this one here, but I need to get that one up here too. And how you do that, you turn and it should catch it. There you go. It's caught. They don't usually suggest to do that, but it's much easier to do that. And boom, ready to go. So, I'm gonna close that back up. Good to go. I just kind of finished threading the machine and like getting the jeans in the machine to sew that seam that goes up the butt. And I just had a thought basically realizing that I've this is probably the quickest I've ever gotten through a pant alteration, which means I'm learning. I'm learning. I'm learning. Um, I'm going to breeze over this next part because um, I'm too embarrassed to show you guys. Um, my nose piercing is just sticking out. Uh, uh, yeah, I'm going to breeze over it. It's still going to record it, but you guys are not going to watch me do that. Uh -uh. No, sir. And then I'll show you what it looks like afterwards. I didn't try them on. I should probably try them on. 
I'm gonna try them on. <laughs> I was too lazy to move my setup to where it was originally. Um, so that's what it looks like on the body. You can tell that it fits the waist here now. Way, way, way better than it did when I first started. So that's what it's looking like right now. Um, a little loose, but that's because I haven't finished closing up the back here. So once that's closed up, it'll tighten it and it'll look better, better on. So let's continue. It looks a little silly. I, I'm not going to sit here and lie. You know, it looks very amateurish, but that's what I am. Um, I'm not as upset as I thought I would be, to be completely honest with you, because out of all of the jeans I've ever altered, this is the nicest looking one. So I'll take whatever small W I can take, because this is one of them. So now, after this, I'm going to move on to closing this off. So this should have been cut from the beginning. I just, I don't know why I didn't do it. Congratulations, you played yourself. So what I'm doing now is trying to center, like, match the center. Fold it so it's centered. That looks pretty decent to me. Let's go on the top. Yeah, that looks pretty decent to me. Let's just flip, 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 flip. and then I'm gonna cut it to open it up. I usually use chalk just to make sure, but it's fine. And then I'm gonna close. I'm gonna take it and fold them. This way is easier. Fold them so the outsides, the little, like the dark blue indigo parts, are facing each other. And then, see, I didn't open it enough, and now I'm struggling to fold them together. I mean, it's fine. I just have a bit more leniency with it open a bit more. So let's just do that. And you want to make sure it's lined up everywhere. So here. So that's that. And then now that I have that measured out, I mean secured, I need to measure out two inches so it matches how much I took in in the actual jean. This might not work the way it's supposed to just because I didn't cut it at the beginning, but um I, it should be okay. It won't be exactly centered, but I'm not too fussy about like it being 1000% perfect. Because at the end of the day, this is probably the nicest looking pair of jeans I've altered so far. So, yeah. I have way more jeans that I need to alter anyway so i know that as i continue to do these i'll only get better and that's all i can ask for okay i want to work on going in and sewing this down the line Just gonna... I'm just guesstimating here, boy. And this is why I can't complain if it doesn't look perfect. <laughs> when I don't always take um, the appropriate steps to make sure it does, but it's also like... I'm learning. That's what it looks like all sewn up. So now I take it and flip it like that inside out. And then let's see if I got it to match. I need to cut all of that extra fabric, but I'm just gonna see. Eh. Not bad. It's not 100% centered, but 
the belt loop is going to cover that up. So I'm cool. Okay, so I'm going to cut off the extra fabric. Sew this down. I mean, not so. Um, what's that word called? Iron this down. I just finished ironing the inside here. Didn't do the greatest job, but it's not the end of the world. So I finished pinning it. I'm going to go ahead and um, work on sewing it down. And yeah. Okay, so that's what it's looking like right now. So the last step I have to do is now um, sew back on the, what's that thing called? The belt loop. This the belt loop right here. It's not going to be perfectly centered, but um, I kind of anticipated that just based off of the fact that this wasn't measured, like, accurately. But... If I can manipulate it enough, it, it'll look fine. You won't really be able to tell. So I'm going to try and get it to look like this. You can barely even tell that it's not centered, which is why I wasn't too worried. So I'm going to work on that and then reveal the final product. So excited. Woo! I'm done. It's time for the grand reveal. Are you guys ready? Are you guys ready? Drum roll, please. Bam. Here we have the before and after. We see the significant difference in the way it fits at the waist. It fits so much better. I'm very happy with the way they look. Woohoo! So that brings us to the end of this video. Um, that was the process of me <laughs> altering a pair of jeans. Uh, let me know if you guys enjoyed this video, if you guys want to see more alterations. And if you do, let me know what you want to see. Um, I've got a whole like drawer filled with stuff I want to alter. So if you guys are interested in seeing any of that, let me know. Leave a comment down below. And We'll see you real. I'll see you next time. Bye. It's hard because every day there's something going on, but there's just more and more every time. So I just, every day.